Yeah, so obviously just got out the locker room uh, with the players, uh, very disappointed. Um, everybody in the locker room is disappointed uh, in that outcome. And, uh, you know, so we're, you know, looking at the game itself, you know, the first half uh, did some good things in the first half. You know, obviously the uh, going for it on the, on the third down, uh, you know, Cole ended up fumbling that snap on the first sneak, and then we decided it was still inches, so we decided to go for that one. And uh, that's a high, high percentage of making that, you know, so we just got to execute better in that moment. Um, you know, and then the defense uh, did a good job getting them to third and 15. They had three third downs to get off the field, and there we didn't get that done. That's why they scored on the first one. Um, but uh, then I thought the defense came back and did a really nice job of going some three and outs. Uh, they did three and out, three and out, I think six and out. And uh, overall, the defense, I thought, did a nice job of playing the run. It was a big emphasis for us uh, during the course uh, of the year. And I think they ended up at 2.9 average, which is, which is really good. So that's something to take away from the game. Um, you know, but uh, to go back to the game, you know, obviously the penalties. You know, we, have, we put ourselves behind um, on offense a, a bunch of times. And I think that's why the third downs were not as what they expected to be. And uh, we got to get that cleaned up because that's, that's something you can improve on, your, you know, by being disciplined and, and not having those penalties, you know. Um, so, you know, last year we were third in the league in, in penalties, you know, so we can definitely clean that up. That's, that's correctable. Um, then really for, for the rest of the game, you know, we got to do a good job uh, defensively, you know, coming out in the second half. You know, we didn't do a very good job with that. It was, uh, you know, two, those two big plays uh, to, their, to their premier running back. Um, so those are big plays for those guys. And, um, you know, so overall, you know, I think it's, uh, it's a learning experience for us. There's a lot of football to play, I told the guys. And uh, uh, we have to get back to work tomorrow, uh, look at the corrections, and, and see where we go from here. Looking at the mistakes and the penalties and just the score, if somebody came out of this saying the Bears just weren't ready to play today, would you agree with that? No, I wouldn't agree with that. No, I wouldn't. Uh, you know, the first half we were we were we were pretty good. You know, in terms of being ready to play, um, you know, so the the onset of that was good. We did, I don't think we came out in the second half uh, and they executed better than we did. And uh, again, the third downs was a big piece of that today. Um, some of it's because of penalties and then execution. We got to get off the field on third down. Was the thought process behind the commit play, putting him under center in a series that had been going well up at that point, but that was a, a, a gimmicky play at that at that point in the game. Yeah, we had done that uh, before. We ran a couple of plays. Uh, we've done that with him a few times. Uh, had a couple of plays off of that, so that's worked for us uh, before. And uh, we just had a different motion, a different shift there, uh, and put him behind there. So there's some of those other guys getting wide open, like Jones on the. Yeah, so the, the, the throwback screen, uh, that one, the first one to come out of the second half, uh, that's we got to do a really good job of, of boxing that with the corner, and then we need the pursuit inside out. We had some guys there. I think I saw a couple guys miss a tackle or two. Um, I think I may, he may have outran a couple guys. I got to look at the tape, but that's what I first saw on that one. Um, you know, the one that uh, happened late to the tight end, um, that was a fumbled snap, and that was a hideout play. So the tight end blocks like this, and then hides out, and then goes up the numbers. And the guys took their eyes onto the quarterback, and we got to stay back in coverage. We got to do a better job there. Um, yeah. Are they a lot different offensively now with Love than Rodgers? Uh, I would say uh, no. I would say they're they're similar. They're very similar. I would not say different. What do you think of Love today? I mean, he was on, like you said on third down. He really seemed to kind of capitalize because of those plays. Yeah, I thought, I thought uh, you know, for the, you know, for the most part, I think he did well. You know, he did well today, and obviously they executed on third down, and uh, my hat's off to him. Coach, did you know on, on the first draft, open draft again, did you decide before third down that you would go forward on fourth you didn't get it? Yeah, if it was inches. It was the green light on inches. So it was third and inches, and it was fourth and inches, the green light. What did you like better about the two sneaks more so than the conventional run on either of those plays? Um, inches converts to you know a sneak you know converts at a high rate on inches you know that's what that's what you know just by percentage so that's why we liked it. What was your assessment of Justin's play today? I'll have to look at the tape. You know I have to look at the tape. You know there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, so I want to look at the tape and dive into it before I make any comments on that. You, he had counted for maybe I looked at one point he was counted from basically 95 percent of your yards either through the run or the pass. Mm -hmm. Are you worried? Did he just not get enough support from the other guys today in any way? Would you say? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, I got to look at the tape. You know, you know, to to make a big statement like that, you know, is is would be, uh, you know, not right for me to say that without watching the tape. So 
we'll look at it. We're going to make the corrections. You know, we'll, we'll see where it is. You know, with with everything on offense and defense. And, you know, we'll, we'll go through it with uh, you know an evaluation process and how we can get better um, as an offense, defense, and kicking, and then each guy. So that's what we do. How many lucky today wins make you reevaluate how to approach preseason in terms of getting your starters more snaps together in your offensive line, especially? Yeah, I, I, it would definitely, uh, you know, obviously you think about that as a head coach, but we know with the injuries that we did have uh, and sustained uh, during training camp, it would be hard to put all the guys in there together um, for sure. Uh, so we always evaluate that every single year. And with, how this game, with how this game ended, um, is there something that you're most eager to correct moving forward? Is there something? That kind of outweighs something else right now. Yeah, just play, just the basics of football. You know, we're you know with the, eliminate the penalties. That's going to help us out a lot. You know, protect the football. That's going to help us out a lot. You know, take the football away. That's going to give us short fields and give us opportunities. And we've done that really well in practice. You know, both sides. You know, so um, you know I plan on seeing that in the future. You know, and, and going forward. Like I said, this is the first game. This hurts. You know, this is a division opponent. Um, all the guys in there are, are, you know, sick to their stomachs, and you know, all the coaches, everybody, and it's not, not something that you like. Uh, but we also know it's the first game, and we got to get better. You know, we have to improve, and uh, it's this is a week to week, and we have to. Once this gets over, we got to get to tomorrow, and we got to start moving our eyes forward and uh, move to Tampa Bay. I was going to say, what, are those your emotions? Like, are you mad? Or what are, how do you feel after a game like this? Some, there's so much hype going into the season. And everybody thought this would be a close game, and it went completely the other way. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, to play this game, you have to have passion and you have to have emotion. So yeah, yeah, this hurts. You know, it's a, it's an emotional thing, and you got to have passion to do it the right way. And uh, we'll take away the good things we did um, out there today, and we'll correct the ones we, we need to improve on.